For many years, the Xbox Elite controller has been one of the player's most powerful tool in their toolkit. Ever since the original one came out in 2015, millions of users have enjoyed, customized, and played the heck out of their Elite controller. But today, there's a new model, the Elite Series 2 Core Controller. If you like what you see here, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video with your friends and family. Okay, let's begin. Just from the box alone, you know this is a unique color scheme. And on the rear, it shows the front and back of the controller, plus the main components of what makes the Elite Series 2 controller so, well, elite. Optimized for you, limitless customization, extend your gameplay, and built for performance. That last one is so key. If you've never picked up an Elite Series 2 controller before, know this, they are built to last. This is what a pro player would use. Now let's get this opened. I've been waiting for this. All right, is that it? Is that all the stickers? Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, and the reveal. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Wow. Just, oof. <laughs> I'm speechless how mm, this pops so well. Awesome doesn't even cover it one bit. I mean, this is just beautiful all around. This leaves me breathless. So one thing you'll notice that is missing from this unboxing, if you've ever picked up an Elite controller before, is the carrying case. Now, carrying case was very, very useful if you did go from your dorm to your apartment to work or wherever. It, it was nice to have, definitely nice to have, but not a need. This has all the main accoutrement, if you will. You've got the controller, of course, and then in here, I don't know why I closed the box, but in here, you're also going to have the rechargeable battery cable. So there is no removable battery on the Elite Series 2 controllers. They are built in to this battery bank, which is nice. You can use this braided cable. It's a very long cable. You can use it with your Windows device or you can plug it directly into your console if you prefer. And yeah, and then some of the other things that you do have here are going to be the removable thumb sticks, and of course, the removable D-pad. Now, one thing you should know about the thumb sticks themselves is that although you can change the height and the grip of the thumb sticks themselves, you can actually change the tension of each thumb stick. You do need a tiny little Phillips screwdriver to do that, but you just turn the button, button, turn it to the left or to the right and just feel out feel out what which dead zone which setting works best for you this is such a subjective thing controllers and what works for you what works for me but what's really nice is no matter what you prefer the elite controller can tackle any of it and then finally in this box um let's see Ooh. So remember I said you need a Phillips screwdriver? Uh, actually, they provide you the tool that you need. So I guess you could use a screwdriver if you ever lose, don't lose the tool. The tool's the thing that you wanna keep. Keep the tool. Now that we've got everything else in the box out of the way, <laughs> let's go ahead and take a look at this controller. I mean, look how the black grips complement the white body. The silver touches of the hybrid D-pad, The just, the rear paddles that you can put on here. It's just a gorgeous accent. As beautiful as this is, the magic of its functionality is through the Xbox Accessories app on Windows or your Xbox. You can customize the hair triggers, the paddles that you can place in the back here. So you can have three different profiles that work for three separate types of games, whether it's racing sims or first person shooters or you know something a little bit more low key. And once you've tied them to the Elite Series 2 controller, no matter where this controller goes with you, it's saved on the actual controller. Isn't that, isn't that, but that's pretty cool. 
The only thing that this controller is missing is that share button, but it does have a button that allows you to cycle through the different three profiles that you would have saved to the actual hardware. And let's not forget, this controller not only works on Windows devices and your Xbox, but it can also work on mobile devices over Bluetooth, like iOS and Android. And yes, if you still have an older Xbox One, you can use the newest model core controller. I won't lie, using the rear paddles do take getting used to, but it is worth it. No more fumbling your thumbs, taking fractions of a second off to perform a combo. And overall, just really, really, really enjoy the high-end look and feeling of this solid controller. I love this controller. And if you do too, please consider subscribing and liking this video. It truly helps us here at Expert Zone determine what sort of content you enjoy coming from us. So until the next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Later.